Okay, so this molecule right here is glycine and what our task is to do is to find the hybridization around nitrogen and the far right carbon. So that's this nitrogen right here and this carbon right here. So I've made a new screen and I will be doing this. So I'm going to highlight what we're trying to focus on, which is the nitrogen. So I'll highlight that in pink and I'm going to draw a simple skeletal figure of it down below just as a general idea of the shape in order to figure out the hybridization. So I'm going to be drawing out this simple Lewis structure. I'm not drawing out any lone pairs except for the main one that's in glycine on the nitrogen. And now what we want to do is we want to count our electron domains. So looking at this shape, we can see that there is an electron domain at the top, which, the, which is the lone pairs. Then we have one around the carbon, and then there's another one with the hydrogen and another hydrogen. So in total, we have four electron domains. And going back to our table that we should have memorized, or maybe not, um, we know that when there are four electron domains, that usually is a tetrahedral shape. So our electron geometry will be tetrahedral. And then up above in the purple box, I listed the hybridization that I took from the chapter reading. And so now that we know that our electron geometry is um, tetrahedral, we can see that this correlates to a hybridization of sp3. So that is the hybridization of the nitrogen atom. Now moving on to the carbon, the far right carbon, which I'm going to highlight for you in orange. And I'm going to again draw out the simple skeletal structure. Again, I'm not going to be focusing too much on the Lewis structure. I'm just drawing out a general idea so you can see the shape. And now what we want to do again is count our electron domains. So we can see that this shape has three electron domains, one with the oxygen, another oxygen, and then the carbon-carbon. Now what we're going to do is we go back to our table and we see that three electron domains correlates with the trigonal planar electron geometry. So I'm going to write that down. And we want to note here that this is trigonal planar because there's no lone pairs. If we had a lone pair around the central carbon in the simple skeletal structure that I drew, then that would be four electron domains just like the nitrogen I just showed. But this one only has three electron domains which correlates to the trigonal planar shape electron geometry. And again, going back to our purple box above that I took from the chapter reading, we can see that trigonal planar electron geometry correlates with the hybridization of sp2. So this far right carbon in glycine has hybridization of sp2. Thank you.